Hello guys and welcome to another Blur video. I'll be trying to do something different today, okay? Let's jump into it. I make my guitar backing tracks using this website called Moises. And the brilliant thing about this website is that it allows you to split, to separate the instruments um, in a very interesting way that um, I'm gonna show you. So today we'll be doing Beetle Bum. For the sake of this example, I'll be using Country Set Balladman. And the brilliant thing about this website is that it allows you to split things such as lead vocals from background vocals, acoustic guitars from electric guitars, or even lead guitars from rhythm guitars. Um, it separates the drum tracks. And this is really cool. This is something I've just recently found out about. Let's see what it has. So let's start with the drum tracks first. So these are the drums. It's a very melodic bass line, but like really fast. It's a very common thing that Alex loves doing when he approaches bass lines. So the Bill Bun bass line sounds a bit like this. Then it sounds this part here. That goes. You know, it, it, it's I don't know. It sounds really cool. It's it's you know, <clears throat> Alex James's bass lines are all about these little details, and then we've got these um. uses a delay effect but you can hear on the studio version that it's actually a reverb so what is going on here is that we have um the guitar the guitar signal the um dry guitar signal panned a bit to the right and you have the reverb signal panned to the left and that's going to be important because when we talk about the acoustic part the acoustic guitar it's also panned a bit to the left so it creates like you can um use the whole um stereo image of your mix so dude's just playing muted strum notes but you hear the guitar sound on the right and on the left you have just the reverb I'm gonna play the acoustic now, I'm gonna... You notice how the acoustic guitar, you can see it, it's more on the left side. I feel like all of us would count it like this, right? So we would count, we wouldn't start counting on the first note before the slide. We would count on the first chord. So we would go like... But this is wrong, and it's a very crucial detail to keep an eye open for because if you play the actual click track, you hear that the first count, like the one, is actually on the note that's gonna slide to the power chord. So it's actually something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's because there are two guitars playing the chorus, so let's hear it first. We've 
got one first guitar on the right that's playing what we would expect, which are the chords. So it goes just like straight chords, like. We've got a different guitar here. Graham doesn't play this one live. Octaves. So imagine you have a power chord without the fifth. So it's just octaves. With these little things like. You know, these passages. And when Damon stops singing, this riff guitar, you hear like it gets more fuzzy. Now you're gonna add the two other guitar tracks. You're gonna add the acoustic guitar. You're gonna add the bass track. Drum tracks, and we're almost done with our with our Beetle Bun ending sound. This to me sounds like a very poorly recorded um, telephone. Someone laughing, and someone will laugh again in a minute. <laughs> Hear it clearly here in this bit. It's like a synth with a tremolo sound. Let's put the photos. <laughs> Wow, it's so loud that it's crazy that I hadn't noticed that before. So it just doubles the guitar. And again, if you notice, this is this sounds pan to the left, considering that the guitar sounds pan to the right. We're always looking forward to, you know, using the whole stereo image here. Just a little bit of reverb, two vocal tracks. Now what you done, Beetle Bum, get nothing done. Hey, uh, uh, uh. just get numb. Now what you done, this piano, Beetle guys. Bum. This piano is just stupid. And when she lets me but so essential. And when she lets me slip away, she turns me on. Now, this chorus is a beauty, isn't it? Let's listen to the main vocals first. And when she lets me slip away, she turns me on, and all my finest gone. Nothing is wrong. I just slip away and I am gone. Now I've covered everything. And uh, it's been fun. That was a nice first experience. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I did. I hope that, um, you know, I'm really hoping that you might have learned something like I did with the piano, with the second guitar on the chorus. Like, it's a beautiful song. I hope you've had fun. I think that's all. So thanks again for joining in in another Blur video. Um, and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.